hundreds of reasons we play board games. To escape to another world, to give us something challenging to think about, because we love solving things. The list goes on and on. One of my favorite reasons to play board games is to laugh. And few things get people laughing quite as quickly as acting silly or watching their friends act silly. Not to mention playing a game with any sort of dexterity element gets much harder if you're trying to do it while laughing is adding that extra factor to further influence the game. Really, being silly can be a shortcut to fun for many. If you are one such person, this is the video for you. Here is our list of the top five games that make us feel silly. Riff Raff is a game of balance. Not your balance, but the balance of wobbly wooden planks that you'll be putting items on. Yes, you'll be asked to keep everything from falling while doing something that can only make the situation more unstable. It's a pretty great idea. The mechanic that pushes this game over the edge is the catch. If a piece starts to fall, but you can catch it before it hits the ground, then it actually doesn't count against you. Just make sure you don't hit the table or the game board while going for the save, or it'll kind of defeat the purpose and probably make you lose the game, like, right away. More of an activity than a game in the way most people see it, Mad Gabs is, nonetheless, very silly, so it qualifies. It's more or less the same Mad Gabby experience we're all used to. In each game, you have two teams that try and figure out simple word puzzles, where you have a short sentence or phrase that sounds like another short sentence or phrase, and you have to figure out the phrase it's trying to sound like. Obviously, these result in some ridiculous guesses that only get more silly when the pressure is on. And considering you're racing the other team to be the first to figure out five of these puzzles, the pressure starts coming pretty quickly. One of our guru's favorite games to suggest towards the end of the night, Ghost Blitz is nothing if not simple, silly fun. On each turn in Ghost Blitz, a player will flip over a card from a face down deck. This card will have a picture on it that either directly depicts one of the five items at the center of the table, or it'll allude to all except for one of them. In either case, you're trying to be the first to grab the correct piece. Confused yet? Exactly. This game combines observational skills and reaction time to wonderful success. Possibly the most silly part of this game is the legitimate tension you can feel at a table right before the next card is flipped. Its ability to grab people's attention so quickly, despite its odd theming, is a testament to how fun this game can be with the right group. But that doesn't make it any less silly. is a great example of taking something mundane and tweaking it in just the right way to make it absolutely crazy. In Fun Employed, the mundane bit is you're simply applying for a real life job, such as a cook, banker, or tax attorney, with completely irrelevant and absurd qualifications, like being able to talk to squirrels or owning an actual running DeLorean. It is then up to each player to convince the player whose turn it is why their qualifications make them the best fit for the job, or at least better than any of these other freaks and weirdos that are at the table with you. I would be willing to challenge anyone if they think they have a better option for the top of this list. If you don't feel silly attaching a plastic crane arm to your forehead and using your body as the crane because there are no hands allowed, then we clearly have different definitions of the word silly, and I'm pretty sure yours is wrong. In Lifted, given the aforementioned crane mechanic, it is all about building odd structures using a plastic equivalent of an erector set and your body's own natural grace. Or not, as is usually the case. The goal is to build the structure before your opponent, so the speed element nicely accents the already ridiculous task this game asks you to complete. Really, this was the first game on the list when I started brainstorming, and it was always going to be at the top, if really for no other reason than the looks we regularly see people give players of this game in the cafe. It's amazing. Well, that's it for our list and our video. Don't forget to leave us any questions, omissions, or grievances in the comments below. Or you're welcome to come down to the cafe to argue with us in person and try any of these great games. And if you really like our video, don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, and as always, game on.